Did you know that we have two different brains in our brain? Today's study made in 1968 by Gazzaniga and Nobel laureate Perry is about split brain. Split brain is when two hemispheres are separated. It's important to understand that in neurologically healthy brain, the hemispheres are connected by the corpus callosum. It allows the information to flow around the brain, meaning, for example, the sensational data obtained by the left hand, corresponding to the right hemisphere, is also available to the left hemisphere. The participants of this study underwent an operation for severing the corpus callosum to help curing their life-threatening epilepsy. But how did the split brain affect them? The researchers developed three types of tests to explore a wide range of mental capabilities of the patients. One was designed to examine visual abilities. They devised a technique to allow a picture of an object, a word or parts of words to be transmitted only to the visual area in either the right or the left brain hemisphere, but not both. Normally, both of your eyes send information to both sides of your brain. However, with exact placement of the items or words in front of you and with your eyes fixed on the specific point, images can be fed to only the right or the left visual field of your brain. On these pictures, you can see how the thing was built. So the participants were allowed to watch exactly this cross and this cross only, while the picture was presented on the right or the left visual fields for milliseconds. Another testing situation was designed for tactile or touch stimulation. Here participants could feel but not see an object, a block letter or even a word in catalog block letters. The apparatus consisted of a screen with a space under it for the subject to reach through and touch the items without being able to see them. The visual and the tactile devices could be used simultaneously, so that, for example, a picture of a pen could be projected to one side of the brain and the same object could be searched for by either hand among various objects behind the screen. So the idea of this apparatus is to challenge the split brain patients and by that to try to find out which functions correlate to which hemisphere because their hemispheres are not connected and therefore they cannot communicate to each other the information. For example, if the information is uh, presented on the right visual field that corresponds again to the left hemisphere, important, and the patient is given the uh, option to find an ob object by the left hand which correlates to the right hemisphere, then how will they know which object to find because the hemispheres are not communicating? And now the results. So what did they find, for example, on the visual abilities? One of the first tests involved the board with a horizontal row of lights. When a patient sat in front of this board and stared at the point in the middle of the lights, the bulbs would flash across both the right and the left visual fields, like this. However, when the patients were asked to explain what they saw, they said that the, they only seen the lights on the right side of the board. Next, when the researchers flashed only the lights of the, on the left side of the visual field, the patients claimed to have seen nothing. A logical conclusion from these findings would be that the right side of the brain is just blind. But then the amazing thing happened. The lights were flashed again, but this time the patients were asked to point to the lights that had flashed. Although they had said that only saw the lights on the right, they pointed to all the lights in both visual fields. Using this method of pointing, it was found that both halves of the brain had seen the, the lights and were equally skilled in visual perception. The important point here is that when the patients failed to say that they had seen all the lights, it wasn't because they didn't see them, but because the center for speech is located on the brain's left hemisphere. In other words, in order for you to say that you saw something, the object has to have been seen by the left side of your brain. And the same type of te uh, techniques have been used for figuring out the tactile abilities and visual plus tactile tests. And uh, for example, here we can see that uh, uh, although all the participants were right-handed, they had drawn uh, the three-dimensional pictures uh, by the left hand better than by the right hand. The researchers concluded that the left hemisphere is dominant in language, while the right hemisphere performs better in the tasks involving visual construction. 
However, both hemispheres are capable of forming an emotional response. Therefore, we have two different brains, each with complex abilities. Gazaniga notices that if we really have two different brains, then perhaps we should have potential of processing twice as much information if these parts are divided. And indeed, there is evidence suggesting that split brain patients are capable of carrying two cognitive tasks twice as fast as normal person could carry only one.